Hey there, Mr. Weaver here, and this is 8th grade, module 10, lesson 1, volume of cylinders. After this lesson, you need to be able to use the formula for the volume of a cylinder to find the volume of a cylinder given its diameter or radius and the height. Let's learn. Volume of cylinders. Volume is the measure of space occupied by a solid. Volume is measured in cubic units, so you might see units to the third power. A cylinder is a three-dimensional figure with two parallel circular bases connected by a curved surface. The area of the base of the cylinder tells the number of cubic units in one layer, and the height tells you how many layers there are in the cylinder. So if we can visualize here using our picture, imagine you have one layer that would be like this. We have our circular base. Imagine like coins stacked on top of each other. Then we might have another layer. That's the same thickness, and then another layer. Essentially, a cylinder becomes a stack of the same base over and over and over. That is how high it is. To find the volume of a cylinder, we take that base shape, which is a circle, find the area of that, and then multiply by how many we have in the stack, so how high it is. Or our volume just becomes pi r squared, which is our base, times the height. So volume of a cylinder is pi times r squared times height. So it's the area of a circle times the height. When we're solving problems that involve pi, you can either use the value of pi as stored in the calculator, or you can record your answer in terms of pi. So for example, the volume for the cylinder shown can be represented in either way. We could record it in terms of pi. So if we look at our final answer, we have 112 pi inches cubed. The pi is still in the answer. When they ask you to find the exact volume, this is what you need to do. You need to leave it in terms of pi. That gives you the exact answer. If we use the value of pi from a calculator, which pushing the pi button rounds it off, then we get what's called the approximate value. It's multiplied out 351.9. The pi symbol is no longer there. So when they ask you to find the approximate volume. This is when you use your calculator, or maybe even instead of the pi button, you might round it off to 3.14, as you probably did with circles in a previous grade. So we need to pay attention to what the question is asking us to determine if we're leaving it in terms of pi or using the pi button or rounding it to 3.14. Example one, find volume of cylinders given the radius. Find the volume of the cylinder, round to the nearest tenth. So volume for a cylinder always is going to start off using that volume formula. V equals pi r squared h. R is the radius. So if I'm looking at my cylinder here, remember radius is from the center to the edge. So our radius here is 5. I can plug that in. And my height is 8.3. So I can put that in place of h. Now I can just multiply it out. So 5 squared is 25 times 8.3 is 207.5. Here's where I need to decide if I need to do in terms of pi or am I using my calculator button. This tells me to round to the nearest tenth, which means pi is not going to be in my answer. So 207.5 times pi on the calculator is 651.9, nearest tenth, so one place after the decimal. So the volume of the cylinder would be about 651.9, cubic centimeters, or we could just write it as centimeters to the third power. Check your understanding. Find the volume of the cylinder rounding to the nearest tenth. Pause the video now and complete the check. Check your answer. You should have found that this is 56.5 centimeters cubed. If I'm taking my volume formula, V equals pi r squared h, r is 1.5, I can see that's my distance from the center to the edge, my radius, squared times 8. Using my calculator, 1.5 times 1.5 is 2.25 times 8, 2.25 times 8 is 18, and then still have to do that pi out front, 18 times about 3.14 would give us 56.5, and I can just use a calculator for that part. 
Example two, find the volume of cylinders given the diameter. Find the volume of the cylinder with a diameter of 16 inches and a height of 20 inches. Express your answer in terms of pi. The diameter of the cylinder is 16 inches. The height is 20. But if we look at our volume formula, we don't want the diameter. We want the radius. So since we're given the diameter, which in a circle, diameter is all the way across, we need to find the radius, which is just halfway across. So the radius is half of the diameter. It's going to be 8 inches instead of 16. Now that we know the radius, we can plug stuff in. So radius is 8, height was 20. Let's calculate it out. 8 times 8 is 64. 64 times 20 is 1,280. Again, here we need to decide, are we using a calculator to multiply out with pi? It tells us to express our answer in terms of pi, so we need to leave it in the answer. So the volume of that cylinder would be 1,280 pi cubic inches. Check your understanding. Read through the situation and find the volume. Pause the video now and complete the check. Check your answer. You should have found that it is 128 pi cubic inches. So our diameter was 8, which means our radius is half of that. Our radius is 4. Our height is also 8. So volume is pi times my radius of 4 squared times my height of 8. 4 times 4 is 16. 16 times 8 is 128. In terms of pi, I just leave the pi symbol. So 128 pi. Take time to pause and reflect. Did you make any errors when completing the check? Describe a method you can use to check your answer. Pause the video now and write down your thoughts. Example 3. Solve problems involving the volume of cylinders. A metal paperweight is in the shape of a cylinder. The paperweight has a height of 1.5 inches and a diameter of 2 inches. How much does the paperweight weigh if 1 cubic inch of metal weighs 1.8 ounces? Round to the nearest tenth. So first let's find the volume of our paperweight. This will help us find how much material the paperweight is made out of. And then once we figure that out, we can multiply it by 1.8, since that's what it weighs, for one cubic inch. So one unit of volume weighs this amount. So our volume, our height is 1.5. The diameter is 2. So I don't want the diameter, I want the radius. Radius is 1. Plugging it in. Height, 1.5. Multiplying this out, I end up with 1.5 pi, and using a calculator, I get about 4.7. So my volume is about 4.7 cubic inches. Now that we know our volume of 4.7 cubic inches, every cubic inch weighed 1.8 ounces. There are 4.7 of them, so let's multiply 4.7 by 1.8, and I would get 8.46. So the weight of this paperweight would be about 8.5 ounces. Check your understanding, read through the situation, and find how much mass is needed to make the candle. Pause the video now and complete the check. Check your answer. You should have said that this would take about 2,111.2 grams. To get this, first let's find our volume of our cylinder. So it's radius is 4, so 4 squared, height of 12 times 12, and then we still need to do times pi. 4 squared is 16. 16 times 12, 192. And then still times pi. If I use a calculator to multiply this out, I get about 603.185. So I'm just going to round that to 1.9. This is how many cubic centimeters we have in our candle. Then it says it takes 3.5 grams to make 1 cubic centimeter. So I need to multiply this by 3.5. Again, using my calculator, I got 2,111.15, rounding to the nearest tenth, so I'd have to knock that 5 off up to a 2, which gives us our answer. 